going on guys, PC here. In this video I wanted to quickly show you my latest Dreamcast hardware project. This is a plug and play Dreamcast hard drive adapter. This is something that I've been wanting to do for a long time now, ever since I did the original IDE or hard drive mod for the Dreamcast. Uh, in that mod, basically what I did was I soldered a 44 pin IDE cable to the bottom of the Dreamcast motherboard, had it run up the side and plug into where the hard drive was, which was essentially where the GD-ROM drive was. And uh, that came out really good. I really, I was really happy with how it came out. It was nice and clean, especially once you put everything back together. There was nothing to see, especially compared to other hard drive mods that people have done where they have cables running out the back of the Dreamcast, and they look really ugly. <laughs> I hated it. Uh, I wanted something completely internal that you could not see from the outside, and I definitely accomplished that. But I wanted to take it to the next level. I wanted something even cleaner than that. Uh, I did, a little bit after I did the hard drive mod, I did end up designing and 3D printing a hard drive mount, which did make things a little bit cleaner and obviously uh, more stable. But I wanted to take things to the next level. I didn't want to stop there. I wanted to create something that was as close to a retail product as you could get, something that you could just plug in to where the GD-ROM drive was, and uh, that is what I did here. Uh, basically, instead of soldering the IDE cable to the Dreamcast motherboard, I soldered it to the GD-ROM board, and this makes the Dreamcast hard drive adapter removable, so I can take it out of this Dreamcast and put it into another Dreamcast if I wanted to, uh, which I really don't really plan on doing, but mainly the reason I wanted to do this was uh, because I wanted it to be really clean and uh, basically th this looks like it could have been made by Sega almost kind of sort of <laughs> but yeah I'm really happy with how it turned out and it works great uh, all you have to do is remove the GD-ROM drive and plug this in and there you go I mean there are some screws obviously Phillips screws that uh, you need to remove and put back in but for the sake of this video, yeah, you just plug it in and it works. Now there is a caveat to it, you do need a BIOS modded Dreamcast in order to uh, flash the Dream Shell bootloader to. Um, so essentially, in order to boot games from a hard drive or a compact flash card, SD card, or anything like that, you need Dream Shell. Dream Shell is a custom operating system that was developed by a guy named SWAT, and it has a whole bunch of different features, but mainly it allows you to boot games from things that aren't a GD-ROM drive. So you need that in order to boot games from the hard drive. And without a BIOS modded Dreamcast, you have no way of booting Dream Shell. So you do need that. But other than that, it is plug and play, which is fantastic, and I'm, I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. I'm not going to go into the details of uh, Dream Shell and how well it works and all that in this video, because I've already done that previously in my Dreamcast IDE mod overview video, so if you want more information, you can check that out. I will quickly say that the compatibility is not 100%. It's about 85%, and even of that 85%, there are some games that have some issues. Uh, mainly, some of the games don't have any music, but a lot of games do work perfectly, and the load times are phenomenal. Absolutely love playing games from the hard drive, especially things like uh, Sonic Shuffle or uh, Soldier of Fortune, which have frequent load times or long load times. It makes the game so much more playable and just really convenient to be able to select a bunch of games from a list rather than having to go through a giant CD wallet, especially if you have hundreds of games like I do. Uh, but yeah, it's a great mod to do if you are into hardware modding. I wouldn't really recommend it for the average person, although if you you know find someone that can do it for you, it's, it is kind of cool. It's not up to the level of something like a GDMU or USB GDROM where you have 100% compatibility, but it's a cool, cheap project you can do if you have the skills. And if you are interested in doing this, I'll put some links in the description to help you out. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to quickly show you this, and uh, I'm just really proud of, of how well this turned out. But I uh, hope you guys like it, and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.